In this video, we're going to cover trenching, laying pipe for your sprinkler system, backfilling, and installing sprinkler heads. Let's get started. The installation we're recording today is happening in Texas. Here we use Schedule 40 PVC pipe for the main lines in Class 200 after the valves. Your area may require different materials, so check with your local authorities to make sure you're using the recommended materials for your area. The flags you see here mark the location for sprinkler heads and valves. Use marking spray to lay out where you want your trenches. Here you can see our installer marking the location of a valve box. Use a different color than the ones marking your utilities to avoid confusion. Speaking of which, remember to call 811 before you dig. They'll send someone out to mark the property with flags or paint to indicate where utility lines are buried. This is always your first step in a trenching project. You're going to need a variety of tools for this project, including shovels, trowels, rakes, and PVC pipe cutters. You might want to check out our video titled Necessary Sprinkler Installation Tools. For this installation, we're digging trenches 6 to 8 inches deep. The area where we are installing this system is not prone to hard freezes. Areas that are prone to hard freezes may need deeper trenches to protect piping. You should contact your local authority for recommendations. Notice how clean this crew member is taking out sections of sod. This team always puts the sod on one side of the trench and the fill dirt on the opposite side. This will pay off big when backfilling. Notice how flat and even the bottom of these trenches are. That's ideal. Strive to get your trenches flat like this. One of the crew is pre-assembling the swing joints to the T's and sprinkler heads. This is so much easier and quicker than trying to assemble this in the trench while on your knees hunched over. It saves both time and your back. Roots can be a serious challenge. If you're lucky, you can tunnel under some of them. However, you may need to put some muscle into it swinging an axe. Or pull out the heavy artillery and go at it with a chainsaw. Please take safety precautions when using an axe or chainsaw. When digging in a flower bed, the trick is to do as little disruption to established plants and shrubs as possible. Trenches should be planned in such a way as to minimize the amount of digging necessary. Right here is where a 12 inch pop-up will go. This crewman is using a sharpshooter to dig down about a foot to accommodate the height of the head. The top of the head should be level with the ground. Our technician is cutting lengths of pipe that will be heading out to the valves and sprinkler heads. It's optimal to have several pipes utilizing the same trench, and it's perfectly fine to have pipes laying on top of each other. He's using extra bits of PVC to keep the pipe out of the dirt while he applies primer and cement. Quickly push the fittings onto the pipe after applying the cement. Hold in place a few seconds. Wipe away the excess. Remember, cement is a solvent. Wiping away excess prevents it from continuing to weaken the exposed portions of the pipe. PVC pipe often comes with flared ends. This allows you to connect pipe without having to add a coupler. You could use cut-off nipple risers to save some money, but you'd still want to use swing joints near the driveway and street so that if a vehicle drives over the sprinkler head, you don't end up with a break. Additionally, swing joints make it much easier to place a sprinkler exactly where you want it. And it makes it simple to adjust the height of the head should the soil eventually cover the head. Carefully fill soil in around the sprinkler head. Remember to pack some soil underneath the head to prevent it from sinking down. Do remember that you'll need to run wiring before covering up any trenches that go from your valves back to your controller. Wires should be tucked under the piping to provide protection from lawn equipment and animals.
careful when backfilling not to hit your pipe with the edge of a shovel or you'll likely be repairing a leak. And now we're replacing those sections of sod. Care taken while digging the trenches and backfilling allows your yard to recover and look great quickly. A tamper helps get the soil back to level. Here we're flushing the system. Sprinkler heads often arrive with a flush cap in place. It allows the dirt and debris to wash out of the system while also quickly testing your new system. Our team is installing nozzles. For this installation, we're using Rainbird R bands and HE bands. The HE bands are high efficiency spray nozzles. Their patterns can be adjusted from 0 to 360 degrees. They also emit large droplets, making them about 40% more efficient than standard sprays. Our vans are rotary heads that shoot out fingers of water. Rotary nozzles like this are incredibly efficient. They emit large water droplets, which prevents wind from carrying away the water. This means about 30% more water reaches the plant roots compared to normal rotors. The R vans are numbered 14, 18, and 24. That number is the maximum throw distance in feet. To install a nozzle, pull up the head by the flush cap. While holding the riser in the up position, unscrew the flush cap, put in the filter, and screw on the nozzle. Then adjust the direction of the spray head by turning the pop-up riser. That ratcheting sound is not hurting the pop-up head. They're meant to be turned like this. Here you'll see two sprinkler heads installed close together. That wasn't a mistake. One of these heads is for the flower beds only and the other is for the lawn. This allows separate watering schedules for the beds and for the lawn. The 12 inch pop-up allows the spray to shoot over the plantings in the bed, while the lawns typically only need a 4 inch pop-up. Now our team is adjusting each of the nozzles for distance and pattern. For distance you want head-to-head -head coverage. That means the throw of the sprinkler should reach the next sprinkler head. This creates even coverage. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs, so your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about our products, chat with one of our amazing customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff, and they will get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. I'm Dwayne Smith for Sprinkler Warehouse. Professional quality, rock bottom prices.